Hey guys, what's up, MacBoy here, and today I'm going to be doing a special screen flow tutorial uh, that I've been getting requests for almost every day, and I uh, just found some time to do it, so I'm going to do it right now. And guys, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be showing something really cool that most of you do not know uh, in screen flow, and most of you do not, do not pay attention to in screen flow. It's a really nice feature that Vera Software put into it, and I'm going to show you right now, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so here we are in ScreenFlow and I have a small project here, actually this is a project that I'm recording right now. Uh, this is my intro and then what I've been talking right now. Uh, five minutes ago, five seconds ago and this is this has to do with your exporting properties in ScreenFlow. So when you are done with your project, editing it, adding all your call out actions, your animation, everything you're done, uh, you click on export then you name it you save it wherever you want to save it then you have your presets and you can also customize it. so you do your dimensions and then you scale to custom size whatever you want to do now at the bottom here there's something called under options called it's there's an option that allows you to use motion blur and most of you don't know what that is and today I'm going to be showing you the use of this and the importance of this motion blur if you are a professional video editor, video tutorial maker uh, like myself. So I'm not going to export this right now, but what I do have over here on my desktop are two videos uh, named Turn and Turn Blur. So the turn right here is, um, of course, something that's turning, and then a turn, turn blur is... Uh, video that has motion blur with it. So I'm gonna open up these two right here and uh, This is just me recording After Effects in After Effects right here uh, As you can see After Effects is on an angle uh, at its y-intercept I'm just gonna scale these both down so you all can see All right About there. All right, so this is just After Effects and it looks something like this Oops, let me bring it back here. You play it, it's just a small rotation of uh, the video document. That's it. Now, this doesn't look, this looks fine to me and uh, it's perfect. But when you do use the option of motion blur right here, it gives you a much, much more professional, much more interesting and much better look. Have a look. Did you see that? Play it again. Can you see the difference between the two rotations? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, bring back to the first frame for each one. All right, so let me just zoom in here. Here you see the window and it's normal, but if you go over here to the right, this already has a small blur on it. And that is why when you play it, it shows like it's moving a lot more smoother, quicker, faster, much better than this one. So guys, uh, just a really quick tutorial I want to show you guys. When you're using uh, ScreenFlow and you're making professional uh, tutorials, I do suggest that you use motion blur when you're exporting your video. All right, guys, um, try it out. Let me know uh, if it worked for you guys, if it looked better than original. Please do make sure you comment below, and even if you want, you can make a video response to this video and let me know what you think. So guys, please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe on this video and channel. And um, over there to the left, or the right of this video, you would see in the description my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see every single one of you next time on MacBoy Productions.